Hi everyone, today is Tuesday. I'm gonna go over your workout of the day. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the bike. And guys are gonna do 14 calories and then ladies are gonna do 10 calories nice and easy. After that, the guys are gonna do 10 calories a little faster and the ladies will do seven a little faster just to get the heart rate going. So easy on the bike and then a little faster. After that, we're gonna go 30 seconds of each starting with a pull apart to a pass through. So pull it apart and then pass it through, one of each for 30 seconds. Then you can keep it overhead for an overhead squat, hips back and down and then stand it up. Or if you want, you can stand on your band with both feet, arms straight, hips down, and then stand up. After that, we'll go into an upright row, pulling it up your body, Make sure you have some resistance there, keeping the band nice and close, elbows high and wide. Then we'll come to the floor for a Superman pull apart, engaging the upper back and also the glutes. Lift up, pull it apart, and then lower down. So 30 seconds of each movement there with the band. Then we'll stand up and warm up our barbell with a snatch grip, so hands nice and wide with a hook grip, we're gonna do five hang snatch pulls. So nice high pull, get the extension of the hip, shoulder shrug, and then finish with those high elbows. Then we'll go into five hang power snatches, above the knee, full extension and shrug, catching in the power position. Then bar to your back for five snatch bounds. On the snatch balance, the bar stays here. You're gonna dip, drop, and stand all the way up. Making sure you're getting underneath that bar, moving your feet out to your squat position. Backs on the drop. Then we're gonna warm up for our EMOM today. So every minute on the minute, we'll have a set of high hang snatches, then hang squat snatches, and then squat snatches. All should be caught in the squat or you're gonna ride it down into a squat. So on the high hang, you'll deadlift the bar up, barely coming below the hip, okay? So it's a quick snap of the hip, catching in the squat. So mid thigh, all the way down, stand it tall. You'll do three of those every minute on the minute, ideally, holding the bar here at your neck, okay? On your hang squat snatch, we can go further down, still above the knee, here, and then catch in that squat. You wanna pull the bar into you and get that extension. So think straight up, bar brushes the hips rather than hitting the hips, okay? hang squat snatch. And then the last EMOM will be doing a squat snatch from the floor. Set those shoulders back, bar in contact with the shins, up the leg, into the hip. We catch it in the squat after that full extension, okay? If you are doing this with dumbbells, I want you to simply do three on each side for the high hang snatch, two on each side for the hang squat snatch, and then one on each side for the squat snatch. So the high hang, again, in between your legs, ideally catching in the squat or doing a power and riding it down. So we could snatch it and then down and up. Three on the right, three on the left for the minute. On the hang squat snatch, you can go a little bit lower above the knee, snatch it, and then overhead squat it, or if you can go right into the squat, you can do that, okay? And then squat snatch would be from the floor, all the way down, catching the squat, standing up. Keeping that dumbbell close to the body on the way up, and fast drop underneath the dumbbell. For our workout today, we'll have two rounds. So we'll start with nine hang power snatches, then 15 pull-ups, 21 calories on the echo bike, 15 pull-ups, nine hang power snatches. 
So a lot of pulling and then we're elevating the heart rate and then some more pulling. Make sure that you're being smart about the weight you're using and breaking up your sets to help save your grip. So the hang power snatch, you'll deadlift the bar up, keeping that hook grip, wrapping your thumbs. Hang anywhere below the hip above the knee. Chest is upright and it's power. Okay, so you can catch in the power position. Ideally, you're able to do, I would say at least five reps before the bar goes down. So you're only breaking once. If you can go nine unbroken, uh, it may be a little light for you, but it should challenge you. So make sure you're smart about the weight you're using, but also you're able to cycle a little bit, okay? Then 15 pull-ups. If we don't have access to a pull-up bar or ring rows, we can do a bent over row with a barbell or with dumbbells, same thing, okay? Bent over row. On your snatches, if you don't have a barbell at home, you're just gonna do that dumbbell snatch, okay? And let's do 10 total, so five on each side for the dumbbell snatch, okay? Calories on the bike, if you don't have a bike at home, you can do it on the rower, or you can also go for a 400 meter run. Then it'll be 15 pull-ups, and then nine hang power snatches again. So, if you're using the dumbbell, definitely go from the floor. If you're using a barbell, it is hang power snatches. You'll rest for three minutes and then you'll repeat another round of the same exact thing. Ideally, you're trying to match your split times, but the second time through, you'll definitely be a little fatigued. So, just try to move through it as quickly as possible. Score today is your total time for completion. For our core work, we've got 15 banded lap pull down. If you're not able to do it on a rig, I'll show you on the floor what it would look like. So you can wrap it around your, your feet like this. So over the top of your shoelaces and then around the outside and through the middle. Lying down, we're gonna go up and over our head here. Okay, working our lats there, if we're unable to do a pull down with a rig. Then 10 strict toes to bar on the rig, so no kipping, or we can do a V up, arms straight, all the way up, and then out. 10 of those, or we can do single leg, five on each side. And then five wall walks. If the wall walk is gonna be too much, we could also do an inchworm with a push-up if you're gonna do the inchworm option. So walk out to your plank, push up, walk it in with straight legs, and then stand all the way up. If you do have access to the rig, the lap pull down will be done on the rig. Today's workout of the day, and we will see you later. Bye.